Hello friends, welcome to Learners Planet. Friends, this is our third session for permutation and combination. In the previous session, we discussed about vectorials. Uh, we discussed good number of questions on principle of counting. And in this session, uh, we'll be doing some more problems and then we will start actually with permutation and combination. So let's begin. Now friends, uh, let's see this problem. Find the total number of ways in which 20 balls can be put into 5 boxes. So the first box contains just one ball. Now we have the 5 boxes but in the first box, suppose this is the first box, we have to put up just one ball. Now these all these balls, uh, any one of these balls can be put into this uh, particular box, right? So we have 20 choices for a ball to put in this particular box right now we are left with the 19 balls and uh, remaining four boxes are there one two three and four right now for second ball we have four choices like well, first ball first ball any of the ball we have put into this box now for the second ball we have 19 choices right I'm sorry for four choices because we have 20 balls so uh, for the second ball we have four choices for the third ball we have four choices for the fourth ball we have four choices till 19th ball we have four choices right so it's 20 into 4 is to 19 right that is answer and uh, I'm sure you are clear for the first ball, uh, for the first box, we have to be clear that it should contain just one ball. So we have 20 choices. So I have taken 20 over here. Any one of the 20 balls can be into it. Then for the remaining balls, that is 19 balls, each and every ball has four choices. So first ball, four choices, second ball, four choices till 19 times. So that will uh, be 4 is to 19, right? Now let's see this question. Serial numbers for an item produced in a factory are to be made using two letters followed by four digits that is 0 to 9, right? Now if the letters are to be taken from six letters of English alphabets without repetition and the digits are also not repeated in a serial number, then how many serial numbers are possible? Now. So we uh, have the code of six places, right? Now for the first place, we have to fill up an English alphabet. That is some fixed uh, six letters are there. So for the first place, we have six choices. Any one of the six letters can come into this place, right? Come on this place. Now for the second place, uh, remaining five letters, any one of the remaining five letters will come, right? So for the second place, we have five choices. Now we have filled up the alphabets. Now we have to fill up the uh, digits from zero to nine. For the first place, we have 10 choices because we have 10 digits over here. Now we don't want the repetition. For the second place, we have nine choices, then eight and then seven, right? So just multiply uh, all these numbers. You'll be getting your answer as one, five, one, two, double zero, right? So it's quite a simple problem. Now let's see this question. A customer forgets a four digit code for an automatic teller machine that is ATM in a bank. However, he remembers that this code consists of digits three, five, six and nine. So we have to find the largest possible number of trials necessary to obtain the correct code. Now friends, uh, since the code is of four digit and he remembers that three, five, six, nine, uh, the digits were used, that means all the digits were used for one time only, right? That means all the digits should be distinct, all the in the code, right? So we have to fill up the four places with this four digits, right? And there should not be any repetition because the four digits were there and the code is also of four digits and we have to use all the four digits right so no repetition is done now for the first place we have four choices for the second place we have three then two then one so in all 
there are 24 ways of arranging these four digits when one digit is used once only right so largest possible number of trials are 24 so after 24 trials that means after 23 unsuccessful trial the 24th trial in the worst case um, if all the 23 trials are failure then the 24th trial will be definitely correct right because no other combination is possible with these four digits right so 24 attempts will be there now out of the maximum failures i'm not talking about exact failures i'm uh, talking about maximum failures or maximum unsuccessful attempts will be 23 right so i hope you are clear